Hey all, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the daily challenge for March 29th, 2020. The character of the Ironclad and the modifiers are Curse Run. Whenever you do the feed boss, become Cursed. Your starting relic is replaced with Curse Key, Dark Stone Perry, Abdon Duvidal. Control Chaos, start with Frozen Eye. At the start of your turn, add 10 random cards to the bottom of your drop pile. And Big Game Hunter, elite enemies are now swarming the Spire and drop better rewards. Let's get started. So Curse Run and Control Chaos. That's going to be an interesting combination. So let me first review the four new relics I got right off the start. We got Curse Key, get an energy start of your turn. Whenever you open a non-boss chest, to obtain a curse. Dark Stone Parry up this. Whenever you obtain a curse, increase your max speed by six. And do it all for each curse in your deck, start each combo with one strength. We also got Frozen Eye. When viewing your drop out, the cards are now shown in order, which is really nice. And then with Big Game Hunter, we're guaranteed rare rewards after each elite fight, which means we're probably not going to go for the popper modifier. I'm not sure if I should go for collector bonuses, but with the cursed run, I, that might be the best thing to do because we are not guaranteed that we're going to get unique curses. It's probably going to be duplicates here and there. So it looks like there's only one four lead path on the far left. And that path has an early shop and two question marks, which is probably a reasonable path. I won't have that much gold for the first shop, but it still will help me getting some good cards because uh, I'm going to have trouble killing so many elites uh, with the base deck. So and then hopefully the sh uh, question marks will give me something good too. Ideally curses, right? All right, let's get started. Actually, wait. Um, so there, I, there is a way where I can avoid going to a shop if I go for this regular fight, but I think a shop early on is useful just to get some good cards. All right, um, with the extra energy, this first act should be easy, but um, I definitely, and that's why I want to go for that shop, I definitely want to pick up a few defensive cards since um, while offensively it will be easy, defensively it might be hard. Ooh, there's a corruption. Yeah, I totally forgot about Frozen Eye. All right, um, uh, can I kill without it? Um, let's do, yeah, I think I can. Okay. All right, we've got a Swift Potion. Very nice. Battle Trance, Sever Soul, or Flex. I think, so I'm thinking of taking Flex just because if I see a Limit Break, that'll be amazing. But I think Battle Trance will be great. It'll help me get through the Control Chaos cards faster. And I have a lot of energy to spend. Okay, unfortunately, I can't get any of the Relics, which is fine. I was hoping for some better defensive cards. Unfortunately, there's nothing here. Shockwave would be a reasonable option. Together with Dropkick, might not be a bad idea either. Um, fire breathing. I mean, I will have curses. The question is if I can draw the curses early enough. I also have a duplication potion, which might help against one of the upcoming elites. But no, I think I'll do shockwave. Hang on. If I do shockwave, um, I won't be able to afford the power potion. So I could take a dropkick instead and the power potion. Or dropkick and fire breathing. Interesting. Tough decisions here. All right. I think I'll take dropkick for just solid attack. Um, and then, uh... Actually, never mind. I can't afford a shockwave too, right? I just can't afford the uh, potion. Let's take a shockwave, sure. Why not? Okay. All right. First question mark. Unfortunately, that's not a curse. Okay. All right. So here, probably want to do battle. Tr Actually, hang on. What's coming up next turn? I do have a drop kick coming up soon, and then a fiend fire after that. I probably should do battle trance. Okay. And then I can do bash and double strike to kill this guy. That way, I won't be weakened next turn. All right, so dropkick to draw and then fiend fire to kill. Perfect. All right, uh, whirlwind, burning pact, or armaments. Again, burning pact with the extra energy and control chaos, I think is pretty good. Armaments would be nice too, but um, since all the cards that get upgraded that one turn won't pretty much will never come back because of control chaos, I think burning pact is better. All right, uh, here we upgrade a defendant strike. Unfortunately, I'm not sure if that was worth the uh, 16 HP, but sure. All right, here I can plan ahead really well. So I probably want to get to the powers here faster. I'm just so if I don't draw any extra cards, which I guess I can't right now. Um, I guess the turn that the enemy will attack me, I will have this set of cards, which doesn't give me anything defensive. So if I draw something with Burning Pact. <clears throat> Then that turn, I'll have two extra cards. So it'll start from here to here. I'll have the offering and then whatever gets offered after that. All right, fine. Let's do Shockwave for now. Actually, wait, I have Battle Trance, right? So I can get to skip three cards ahead. I think I'll do that then. Let's do sh a Shockwave and Battle Trance. All right. Then let's see what other cards I get offered with the Control Chaos. Okay, so here, if I wake him now, even if I play the Burning Pact, um, I'll only have these cards, which is not going to be enough to do anything. So I don't think I should wake him. So it me means that I shouldn't use the Dropkick. I, sh I should still probably use the Burning Pact, right? And then with the Burning Pact, the turn, the turn after that, I'll have Carnage. 
and then to turn off the dot i'll have the offering which unfortunately still doesn't give me anything to fully defend so it doesn't appear that i will be able to perfect this one um but i think i still continue with the plan so let's just do this um there's no reason to do an anger either right uh i could do it hang on with dropkick i could draw one extra card fire breathing and then next turn have the offering do carnage with flex and juggernaut and then to turn after that try to get to the fiend fire maybe with the uh split potion might be worth it all right let's do dropkick fiend fire okay <clears throat> All right, so here I'll do, well, let's do the flex first. So get the flex, okay, and then um, carnage, all right, and then, um, yeah, there's nothing I can do next turn, right? Well, let's try to deal as much damage as possible. So that'll probably just be a pummel and then blood for blood, okay. So maybe with the swift potion, I could kill this turn. Um, hang on. So, if I draw the Fiend Fire with the Swift Potion and even dual wield it, I would be able to deal 7 times 7, 49. Yeah, that should be enough. Okay, fine. Let's drink it. I think uh, giving up a Speed Potion for a Perfect is totally worth it. Okay. Alright, we've got Magic Flower. Healing is 50% more effective during combat. Um, Alright, so rare cards. Demon Form will take a little too long to set up. But I do have the energy to support it, but I think double tap is probably better here. Brutality would be really good, especially once I get a rupture too, but then healing will be a problem. Unless I can just rest at the next rest side, that would also be an option. Um, With brutality, I'll get to control chaos cards faster, so let's take it. Okay, Yeah, I think I have to rest here, just because I still have three elites upcoming, and I, I would like to, uh, you know, survive. Yesterday I died a few times, so... Okay... Nine incoming. I do have a defend coming up, so let's burning pact. Um, play both defense, and unfortunately, that means I won't be able to play the uh, bash anymore. And then next turn, yeah, I didn't plan ahead, but I don't think there's a chance I have this turn. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, that's that was not going to happen. That's fine. All right, we perfected one elite fight. We don't have to perfect both. Okay, another nine incoming. Uh, well, they're power through, so I should have had that earlier. Um, is Battle Trance going to give me something good? Um, no, I think next turn, I should keep it for next turn. So let's just do probably Shockwave and, uh, or just kill one with the Bludgeon. Yep. And then I'll do a Power Throw here, okay. Power Throw will be a great card for my base deck. Because the wounds get into my discard pile and I, I will pretty much never see them again. Um, alright, Blood for Blood. Actually, Rupture is pretty good, right, for extra strength. Um, hang on. Let's do Rupture, Blood for Blood. And then Flame Barrier for Defense, sure. Yeah, I realize that the um, the um, Brutality is going to deal a lot of damage long term. So I have to be a little careful. Let me see what Havoc is going to play. Um, actually, I guess I can I can draw a card and then use Havoc with the Fiendfire. But then I might still take damage. Actually, very little, if so. Yeah, let's just do it. Okay. Yeah, it's, that way I'll take one damage, but then this guy is dead. Um, and then here we can uh, probably dual wield the Reckless Charge. Um, Havoc is going to play a Berserk, which is probably... Actually, he's dead, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, we got Horn Cleat at the start of your second turn. Gain 14 block. Very nice. Uh, well, I kind of have to take a feed, especially this early on, and I will try to use it as much as I can. There's our first Curse of Doubt, as well as Regal Pillow. Whenever you rest, heal an additional 15 HP. That's very nice, because I plan on resting a few times. Okay, so here let's plan ahead again. Definitely want to get the Brutality out, and I don't think I'll be able to use the Feed. Um, but yeah, so if I do Burning Pact, I'll these two, I can play Shockwave. Then next turn, I can ba get Battle Trance to get until here. The turn after, I can wake him with this set of cards, which is probably fine. And the turn after that, I'll have an Impervious for full defense. I think that's a perfect plan. Okay, so then get Shockwave out, all right. Okay, I'm defended here anyway. Let's do Brutality. Ooh, I didn't account for Brutality, actually, so I'll have an extra card draw. Uh, which is still fine. Yeah, it still works out. Mm, definitely don't want to weaken just yet. Unfortunately, I'll be weakened this turn that I'm trying to deal a lot of damage. But that is fine. Ooh, I also didn't account for Dropkick, but actually it looks like it's going to work out in my favor here. So I can do Dropkick, and then Carnage. All right, and then... Um, Probably, should I upgrade the Pummel or just play an, another attack card? I think another attack card is probably good. So just Pummel and Strike. 
Okay. All right, 18 incoming. I do have the impervious here. Uh, so let's do... I, I have to play it though, right? Yeah, no way around that. Let's do impervious. And then probably just blood for blood. What's coming up the turn after? I do have a power through, but that's not going to be enough. Um, unless I can somehow get to the uppercut, which would require me to draw a card, and I unfortunately can't do that. Yeah, that's a shame. Unless I can kill somehow. That's also always an option. Um, so let's do... Let's just do blood for blood. I think that's the most damage, right? Uh, 15, 19. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. All right, 18 incoming. Yeah, this is a problem. I only have 15 block here. 22, 9. Let's definitely play flex. So this is 16. Okay. And then 24. And then 11. Okay, never mind. Perfected this one again. Very good. We got ornamental fan. Every time I play three attacks in a single turn, gain four block. Very nice. As well as fruit juice. And, uh, well, if I want to go for collector bonuses, a second feed would be a great idea. Limit break. Actually, let's take fiend fire first because I do want to be able to exhaust my cursor somehow. Um, here we got our second curse. Well, there goes my collective or Highlander bonus idea. At least we're getting a good amount of gold. Okay, Gremlin knob here. Let's see. So I probably want to draw the um, the Battle Trance and play that right, right away. Okay, and then next turn I'll have Bash Dropkick. It's gonna be difficult to perfect this one, but I think I'll try. So just the attacks, right? Strike, strike, and then a feed. Also, should I drink the fruit juice? Let's drink the fruit juice. Okay. All right, 14. Actually, never mind. I'm fully defended here, so I probably won't do the shockwave. Let's do bash. What about defense next turn? I do have a fiend fire. That might be enough next turn to kill. So let's just do bash, drop kick, and an upgraded strike. Okay. And the next turn, I had extra energy, right? That was silly. Hopefully, the fiend fire will be enough. It is perfect. All right, we got ice cream. Very good energy, not conserved between turns, as well as a fear potion and. Um, probably a limit break at this point. Yeah, I don't think I need the others as much. Exhume would be nice to get a feed or a limit break back, but I think I'll just take a limit break. I'm probably try to upgrade that too. Uh, all right, here we got out of war. If you do not play any attacks during your turn, gain additional energy next turn. Okay. Too bad. Both of those relics would be amazing against the Legavulin. All right, so let me plan. Actually, I don't even need to plan ahead, right? This should be an easy fight. Um, let's do shock for for weakness and then fiend fire to kill one of them. That seems reasonable. Actually, I will take damage that way. Is there a way I can avoid taking damage? No, that's fine. All right, uh, and then actually, hang on. A strike would also kill. Okay, and then limit break, why not? Should have switched the order there. Okay, here I can just kill you. Perfect. All right, uh, flex sword boomerang. I think with the extra strength for sword boomerang is going to be amazing. So let's take that. All right, um, lots of things I could upgrade. Probably limit. Actually, no, it doesn't matter, right? Because we're never going to see our discard pile. So it doesn't matter if I exhaust the card or just um, put it in my discard pile. So maybe upgrading the feet for extra max HP or fiend fire or drop cake. Lots of options here. Or shockwave. Actually, an upgrade on shockwave would be pretty neat. Let me do fiend fire first. I think with all the curses I'll get, having an extra fiend fire or a, an upgrade fiend fire is going to be great. I have a fear potion. I was actually thinking of using it right now, but let's do bash and then fiend fire. We'll do 18 times three, right? That's not yet. Hang on. How much is that? Uh, 50, no, uh, 54. Uh, and that will bring him down to 80 something. Yeah, that's not enough to kill yet. Close, but not enough. Okay. I probably want to deal a lot of damage. Is this a lot of damage? This is kind of a lot of damage. Not like a lot, a lot, but... A good amount. There's also a shockwave coming up. Um, I don't know. If I wait this turn and maybe just draw things with the battle trance, next turn I'll have this set of card, which is not that much better. So yeah, yeah, let's wake him here. So let's do dropkick, battle trance, and then brutality. And uh, I don't really need to play shockwave because he's going to split next turn anyway, so I'll save the energy. So let's just do strike, and then unfortunately I'm going to waste the feet here. Okay, and unfortunately, I'm also going to be weakened next turn, but I think I should be fine here. Yeah, so we can do is burning pack going to give me anything good? I guess I can take sword boomerang or um, pummel. Um, I have the energy, right? Might as well. Okay, so let's do limit break sword boomerang. All right, and then pummel and clash. Very nice. And then I don't have another feat, right? Yeah, that was the problem of taking not taking one. Um, next turn, I'll have an Impervious, and then Fiendfire the turn after. So I'll save my energy here. Although I'm going to be weakened, which is fine, I think. 
All right, let's do impervious field. No Actually, should I just deal damage here? Yeah, you know what? Let me kill. Okay, no need to drag this on further. We got a strength push and very nice as well. So let me see what curse we got. We got an, a regret. Okay, uh, another feed emulator juggernaut. So I think I might try to go for the collector bonus on feed. Yeah, it'll also be nice. Um, emulate is a great card, especially on act two and three. Yeah, let me take emulate. The burn that gets put in my discard pile, I won't care for that. So let's take an emulate. I will. I do want to get a collector bonus for feed, but maybe later. Velvet Trucker is interesting, but I feel like I have enough energy, um, so I might even take. No, we don't need tiny house, right? We we're gonna get enough max HP. I think Slavish Call is probably fine during boss and elite combats. Gain energy as start of your turn. Yeah, I think that's fine. I'm not sure if I need tiny house. The extra energy is always nice, especially with ice cream, right? Okay. All right, champ at the end, so uh, we want some extra strength. So far, I only have three. I kind of was hoping for more. All right, I'm looking for a five elite path. I don't see one. There are definitely four elite paths. Oh, there's... Wait, only one four elite path. Okay. All right, yeah, so we have to these two elites and then these two elites. Okay. Um, and then there is a shop on the right side with two question marks. Um, unfortunately, those are going to be the only two question marks on that path. I'm not missing another four elite path, am I? No, no, looks like... Yeah, everything else is just three elites. Okay. All right, so we'll take these two question marks and hopefully get some curses out of that. Um, should I just do a... Yeah, you want? Let me do Burning Pack the Doubt and then do Fiend Fire here. Okay. All right. Maybe I could even use a feed. When is that coming up? In uh, two turns. Okay. So let's do Strike Drop Kick. And then I'll play both defenses to have the Regret deal less damage. And then here I just need 13 damage, so I can do a strike and a feed. Perfect. Not that I really need max HP, but it's nice for healing. Got an Ancient Potion and Upgraded Burning Pact or Disarm. I think an Upgraded Burning Pact with the extra energy I have with Slaver's Call is really good, but Disarm would help me so much against some of the elites, especially um, the Book of Stabbing. Let me take a Disarm. I think, I think I'm a little overloaded in terms of offense. Uh, I'm probably okay transforming. Ooh, actually, if I transform a Curse... I would get, um, I would trigger the uh, Dark Peria once more, right? Seems like a little bit of a waste. But right now, I am, hmm, that's interesting. Should I try to go for the Highlander modifier? I could just transform a Doubt. I don't think we need a max HP, though. Yeah, let's just transform a Strike. I think that's safer. Okay, we've got Sever Soul. That's actually really good. All right, Looter and Mugger. Let's do Sword Boomerang, Dropkick, Strike. Yeah, this is what I mean, right? Sometimes I just don't have enough defense, which is fine. Against this fight, it's definitely fine. Um, all right, here, let's do Brutality, Burning Pack, the Strike. Okay, I yeah, I can feed on one of them, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'll probably just do Sever Soul. Should be able to uh, kill the Backliner fairly easily, too. 16 incoming, let's do Battle Trance. Uh, emulate does 24, with Shockwave will be enough. Okay. All right, a Duplication Potion is definitely better than... Uh, one of these, not sure which one, probably the Ancient Potion, I don't think I need it. Um, and then Armaments, Inter Infernal Blade or Heavy Blade. Speaking of defense, I think now I should take an Armaments. Okay, well, there's some Memori. So, no, I, I, it's too early, right? So, by having it show up here, that means I, it won't show up later. And I don't want it now, I want it right before the final boss. So, I don't think I can take it here. Um, Bottle Lightning, is there any skill that I would require to be my opening hand? I mean, it would be nice to get a disarm in my opening hand. Actually, that would be really nice. It's it's kind of expensive, though. But I think now that I'm committing to collector bonuses, I should probably take a bunch of cards. Yeah, so let's take... Metalysis is really good, but uh, let's take the Sword Boomerang and Twin Strike, which both are going to be amazing with the extra strength. True Grit for some defense. And then, do I want the Master of Strategy? It's going to be a great card. Let's take the Bottle Lightning uh, still. I think having a Disarm in the opening hand is going to be really nice. And then, um, yeah, I'm actually thinking just getting a Master of Strategy here. Let's do it. It's going to be really powerful. Okay. Should help. The fact that we know exactly what's coming up, that should help a lot too. And yeah, this is a great example for why Disarm is, uh, can be really nice, especially once I upgrade it. All right, let's just do Strike and then Sever Soul. Yeah, I'm going to take some damage here. No way around that. Okay, 15 incoming. Um, let's do Shockwave. All right, now we're fully defended. So Strike and True Grit. Just kind of hoping it that would hit the Regret. Okay. And then here, do I want to wait for the Feed, which is coming up next turn? How much damage is this? Yeah, this is too much damage, right? 
Actually, I cannot draw the feed this turn. Yeah, the burning pack is not upgraded. Um, so I'm just, hang on. So it's 19 times two is already too much, right? So I have to just use the fiend fire with one card, um, which I cannot. Do I not want to play the fiend fire? I could also just do sword boomerang, fine. So sword boomerang right now does 27. Yep, perfect. And then next turn I can feed, okay? If I played the limit break, the sword boomerang would have killed, but that way I can feed here. Not that it's necessary. I'm going to have enough max HP. Imikinesis, flex or war cry. Um, Imikinesis is fine. Yeah, let's take it. Okay, first elite. Oh, this is this is going to be rough. Um, all right, so burning pact is going to give me an emulate, and with a duplication potion, that's not going to be... Actually, that might be enough. All right, let's, let me burning pack the um, fiend fire. Okay, so then 24 times 2 is not enough. I can do limit break. All right, so now it's 27 times 2, which is 54. That's also almost not enough. But then I can do a Sword Boomerang, right? So use the Duplication Potion and then Sword Boomerang. Okay. All right, perfect this one. Thanks to that Duplication Potion. We got Meal Ticket. Whenever you enter a shop, heal 15 HP, as well as Offering is pretty good. Yeah, I'll take it. I know, I know I said I was going to go for high, uh, Collector Bonuses and I'm just taking unique cards, but still. Um, let's upgrade the Disarm right away. It's in our opening hand after all. Okay, and then wait for the four elite path. I have to go left here. Okay. Yeah, there's the book of stabbing. I'm hoping this arm. Yeah, see, I need one extra one extra defense because this arm is going to bring him down to six and I only have five block here. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do next turn. I have a good defensive card, but next turn I also have the horn cleat. Yeah, that's a shame. Actually, hang on. No, I can't even I don't even have three attacks to trigger the uh, ornamental fan, unfortunately. All right, not nothing I can do there. What a shame. Just needed one extra card instead of that curse. One extra attack card, I mean. All right, so here let's do Master of Strategy and then uh, Battle Trance is gonna draw me a set of really good cards. Okay, I'm probably gonna Armaments the Emulate. Okay, and then Shockwave, Emulate, and then Sword Boomerang, okay. All right, uh, 13 incoming, Burning Pack the Doubt out. And then uh, brutality offering. Um, do I want a fiend fire? Nineteen cents. Yeah, that's probably going to be enough, right? Okay. All right, we got blue candle. I don't play with curse cards. Can now be played. Whenever you play a curse, lose one HP and exhausted. That's really good if I get a rupture now. All right, so I think now I'll get for collector bonuses. Um, probably fiend fire though. I think that's better than feed, especially since I'm not going to have a problem with max HP. Okay, here we got a Wraith, uh, which is unfortunate because it's innate. Uh, as well as Vajra, so I just come with one strength. Okay. Alright, so here I don't have a duplication potion. Which means I don't have a chance really, right? So let's disarm, brutality, uh, sword boomerang. I mean, if I drink a strength potion or the fear potion, that's not going to help with anything. So I might as well keep the potions for later. Yeah, the opening hand with the Wraith just became a little worse. Much worse, much worse. Okay, um, let's do a limit break, sure. Then shockwave, dropkick to see what I draw. Okay, and then I can do strike, twin strike. Should have done the twin strike first, that would have been enough. Get rid of this, okay. All right, another 10 incoming. Um, fiend fire is a lot of, actually, here, we can kill you and then kill you, okay. All right, we've got the boot. Whenever you deal four or less unblocked attack damage, increase it to five, as well as a power potion. And uh, I'll take a second emulate, sure. Yeah, I have to forego those question mark rooms to get the fourth elite. Um, so here I wouldn't mind... Well, should I disarm this guy? I think disarming the backliner might be better. I'll take damage, but that's fine. Um, offering will give me a fiend fire, which will kill the bird, I think. So let's do disarm offering. Okay, and then Fiend Fire. Actually, wait. Uh, 5 times 15 is 75, so it won't kill the backliner, right? Um, why don't I just do... I'm trying to figure out something else to do, but I can't really think of anything. Well, I can just kill... Uh, let's just Fiend Fire the bird. That'll save me 5 HP, whereas doing the uh, attacking the backliner won't save me anything, so... Okay. All right, 14 block here. Probably just another. Let me do Sword Boomerang, uh, Twin Strike, and then a Fiend Fire. Okay. And then here, Hemokinesis. Actually, can I kill without it? Not really. So, actually, I can fully defend, though. 
Yeah, and then I, I should be able to come next turn. Maybe with a feed even? Is there a feed coming up? There is. Okay. Got some actual healing. Perfect. All right, we've got uh, another Shockwave, another True Grid, or another Armaments. Hmm. Since I do need defense, I think I'll go with another True Grid. Or actually, let's do Armaments. That way we can uh, get a Chain Armament going. Upgrade one, then upgrade the rest. Uh, okay, what's coming up next? Nothing too amazing. Let me disarm you, the Master of Strategy. And then um, Battle Trance, sure. Um, offering... Oh, I can't draw anything. Well, that was silly. All right, let's get rid of the doubts. Okay, and then I can do Bash, Hemoknesis, and Defend. I might as well do the uh, Feed. It's not going to come back to me anyway, so might as well play it. Okay. All right, uh, here I can do a Limit Break. I'm probably going to upgrade the Sport Boomerang and play that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Perfect. All right, um, Iron Wave, Headbutt, or Anger. I think Iron Wave would be good. A Headbutt might also be nice, but I think Iron Wave is better. A little low on HP here. Uh, yeah, and again, same problem where I just don't have a defensive card in my opening hand, which means I can't defend against the incoming, which is a giant shame. All right. Yeah, I don't think I perfected any... I did perfect that first Elite Fight on this act, but nothing else, which, yeah, is a shame. All right, uh, let's see... Fiendfire would kill next turn, right? Let me do Burning Pact. Or this turn, I mean. Uh, so 25 times 5? Oh yeah, that's enough. Okay. Alright, we've got Whetstone. Twin Strike and Hemikinesis got upgraded. Up and pick up with two random attacks. And then here, I could go for another Limit Break. Corruption is going to be amazing, though. I think I should take Corruption. Okay. Alright, so 20 incoming. Um... Well, they're both are attacking me, but I could just double emulate basically, which will deal 52 damage, kill the backliner, and save me a bunch of HP. Uh, yeah, sure, let's do it. Okay. 12 incoming now, and this guy's going to start dealing much more damage, but uh, I should be able to kill here. Uh, can I feed? Can I deal 9 damage? Uh, not really, it looks like, right? Yeah, I can't draw to uh, enough damage, so let's just feed fire. Okay. All right, Anger, Shrug it off, Drop Cake. I'll take another Drop Cake. Uh, Shrug it off will be good defense, though. Let's take Shrug it off. I need more defensive cards. Here, I think I have to rest. So, uh, yeah, I'm a little low on my uh, on my health right now. Okay, Champ, not attacking first turn, which is great. Uh, and there's an early Corruption. Okay, so let me disarm Burning Pack the Wraith. Okay, there's a Corruption. All right, then Offering. Okay. And then Master of Strategy is going to give me anything good. Oh, I guess the Sword Boomerang is not bad. I would like to draw the Limit Break soon, but um, where is it? Is it at the bottom? It is at the bottom. Great. Well, there are two in a row, which is nice. Um, okay, well, so let's just shrug it off. Might as well get rid of the Regret. Okay, Brutality, definitely. Master of Strategy. Okay, and then probably just deal some attacks here. Uh, I should drink the Strength Potion. I probably should throw the... Fear Potion, or is that too soon? Let me throw it, why not? I'm dealing damage after all, so 37, this is 45. Let's do this first, and then this is 42, so it's actually more than the Hemokinesis. Okay. Alright, 11 incoming, I'm fully defended this turn. Let's do Shockwave. Um, uh, probably, I'm not sure if I should save HP. I do have a Fiendfire coming up. And a Battle Trance. Um, no, I don't think I need to save H uh, save energy, right? Let's do Sword Boomerang, Emulate, and then Feed. Okay, so he's not going to split just yet. All right. I'm going to split at 210. He's not attacking, though. He's buffing. Okay. So we can do Battle Trance. And then um, next turn might be tough to, to kill, but there's nothing I can do. I can't draw more cards. This will do 25 times, uh, what is that, 7? So that's like almost 200 damage right there. Okay. All right. This looks good. So now he's not going to attack again. And I can do drop kick and sever soul. Okay. Perfected this one. After failing on the uh, elites this act, I perfected the boss. It's just really good. We got a duplication potion as well as probably another corruption. Get it faster. Or a second offering. I think it's better. Reaper would have been a good option too. That was silly. I should have taken Reaper because I actually need to heal. Uh, we also got Decay as a curse. Yeah, maybe I should have taken Reaper there. 
Anyway, again, I don't think I need extra energy, especially with the uh, Slaver's Collar. Sozu, probably not. I think I'll go with Astralia, but I'm pick up, transform three cards, and then upgrade them. Yeah, I think that's worth it. All right, I'll uh, actually probably transform three strikes here. Okay, actually really good there. So we got an upgraded Cleave, which is fine, but then upgrade Battle Trans, which is great, and an upgraded Shrug It Off, which is also really good. Okay, time meter at the end. Let's see, so we only have five strengths so far. I was kind of hoping for more. Um, again, I'm not seeing a five elite path. Um, there is a four elite path on the far right. And I think that's... Is that, again, the only four elite path? I think so. Yeah, okay. So we're going on the far right. Unfortunately, not too many question marks on that path either. Also, no guaranteed shop on that path. Yeah, that's a shame. So hopefully one of the question marks will be a shop. Otherwise, that's going to be a lot of gold wasted. But yeah, if I want to maximize elites, I should definitely do that. Especially on the third act, elites are more valuable anyway. Okay, so disarm, burning pack, the wraith. And then I could do armaments just to uh, save some HP. Yeah, let me armaments the uh, feed and then play that. Okay. All right, 15 incoming. I almost, I, I am almost fully defended. Let's do bash uh, offering first. Okay, and then corruption is pretty good. I can upgrade the, um, I mean, sure, let's upgrade the defend. That way I don't take any damage here. Okay, and I should be able to kill next turn. Enemy is vulnerable too. Uh, yep. Okay, maybe I should have waited for the feet there. We've got a strength potion and an upgrade sword boomerang. I think I'll take it. All right, these guys. Um, so let's disarm the backliner. I will take some damage this turn, but I think that's better. Uh, and then just probably fiend fire here. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay taking nine damage. That's that's fine. And then here I can. I don't think I can kill in time, right? I, I probably should play Corruption, okay? And then Burning Pack, the Dropkick, not super necessary here. Defense, Sword Boomerang. And then probably Iron Wave just to uh, avoid taking too much damage or any damage at all. Okay. Okay, where's the Emulate? No, oh, it's coming up, okay. Uh, probably don't need, let's do Shrug it off first. So Emulate will kill almost everybody. Actually, and then with the Twin Strike, I killed the Backliner too, perfect. Okay, power through. Yeah, that's amazing. Gold sea armor is pretty good too, but power through is just better, right? Uh, yeah, let's say power through. Okay. Again, uh, let me see when I have an emulate upcoming. Uh, it's gonna take a while. Wait. Uh, so yeah, three turns at least, right? Uh, okay. Um, let's burning pack the wraith, and then actually, I can draw the uh, power through though. That's good. Disarm the backliner, power through, and then, ooh, I, sh I miscalculated. I wanted to fiend fire here, because I had a lot of cards. So I guess I'm not doing that anymore. Um, let's just defend here. No need to take damage. I think the uh, emulate will deal enough damage. Okay. Oh, everybody's attacking me. Great. Um, there's an emulate coming up. Good. So let's do um, shockwave, battle trans, emulate. Actually, can I upgrade that? That might be better. Yeah, let me upgrade that emulate. Perfect. Okay, Flame Barrier, Infernal Blade, or Sentinel. Um, Infernal Blade might give us something good. Flame Barrier is a good defense, though, especially against the Time Eater. And for four leads, I have to go on the right, right? Uh, ooh, two extra curses. I think I have to take them, especially since I have Blue Candle. I can get rid of those curses. Yeah, yeah, so gain 999 gold. What am I doing in terms of relics, actually? So 5, 10, 15, 18, and then 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So, yeah, even if I take this, I'm not guaranteed 25 curses. So, yeah, let's just take the gold. That's extra points as well as um, extra curses and extra strength as a result. Here, let's see. Mind Blast is not bad. It's going to deal a good amount of damage in our opening hand. Apotheosis is amazing. Um, and Panic Button is my favorite. So yeah, let's take Panic Button here, my Plus here, and Apotheosis here. That's a really good event. Yeah, usually I don't get as lucky with those events. Okay. Nemesis. Uh, yeah, this is going to be the problem. Now I have three innate cards. Uh, let's do... Hang on. So if I do this arm, I'll, I'll be missing one attack, or one uh, one block. So I'm actually thinking of Duplication Potion, the, uh, the uh, disarm. Let's do it. Yeah, that way I don't have to worry uh, about the small attacks, and then I can worry about the big attacks later. Uh, let's do Mind Blast and Sword Boomerang here. Okay. 
All right, not getting attacked this turn, which is good. When is the next normality coming up? Uh, no time soon. Good. Uh, I'm actually thinking, do I need to play anything here? Uh, well, I probably should play the Limit Break, right? right? Let's do Battle Trance. And then, uh, yeah, fine. Let me get rid of the Normality and the Regret, and then just play Limit Break. Okay, no reason to play anything. The enemy is intangible anyway. All right, another zero incoming. Very good. Um, Battle Trance is going to give me nothing amazing, although I, it would get me to my Apotheosis a little faster. I think I should keep the Offering next turn, though, in case um, I get attacked by a lot, by the big attack there. So I don't think I'll play it here. Let's just do Twin Strike, um, Sever Soul and Feet. Actually, is that enough to kill? That is enough to kill. Never mind. All right, we've got Charon's Ashes. Whenever you exhaust the card, deal three damage to all enemies. That's really good for, for this deck in particular. So I could take another Corruption. Um, I have one right now, but I think Impervious is going to actually help me perfect. Okay. Uh, probably don't need to heal here. Let's upgrade um, the Mind Blast, right? It is always in my opening turn anyway. Might as well upgrade it. Okay, Giant Head. Not attacking our first turn. Very good, although I was defended. Uh, so let's do Disarm, right, and then uh, Bash. Might as well do Power Through, right? Actually, no, I'd rather keep the uh, Energy. Okay, and then might blast for 120 damage. It also deals more than 100 damage, which is good. Okay, 10 incoming. I am fully defended here. When is the next normality coming up? No time soon. Good. Uh, so let's burning pact the normality. Okay. And then I can do Sever Soul. Let's do Offering first. Probably don't want to play a uh, Panic Button here. Uh, let's just do Sever Soul and then the attacks, right? So Sever Soul for 32. Okay. And then Hemokinesis and Swarp Boomerang for 17 times 3. Very nice. Okay, another 10 incoming. Uh, now I have to actually look out for the Normality. So it is still fine. I have to play the Offering after or before the Apotheosis though. Because if I get... Actually, no, hang on. Let me do Apotheosis first. Then Offering. And then I can get rid of the Normality. Perfect. And then also do Corruption, Brutality... Um, probably don't need to play the Impervious yet. Yeah, so let's just defend, defend, and then strike and emulate. Okay. Getting close to a kill here. Alright, uh, Limit Break, Doubt, and then Swarp Remax should be enough, right? 22 times 4. Actually, Twin Strike is enough. Perfect. Alright, we've got Bronze Scale, so I should come with 3 Thorns, as well as another Limit Break, definitely. Another Brutality would probably be a little overkill. We've got a Parasite, as well as Bottle Tornado. Up, make up, choose a Power Card, so I should come up with this card in your hand. That probably should be the Corruption. Although now I really need some defensive card in my opening hand. Yeah, let's make that the Corruption. And then probably should try to upgrade that. And then 2 more Elites. Uh, I have to go straight, okay. Nemesis again. Okay, so let's... Hang on. When is, when I have to plan the normalis. And next hand, I'm going to have two normalis unless I draw any. Uh, I think a corruption is not a bad start. Yeah, let's do corruption, this arm, and then mind blast and feed. Okay. Yeah, next turn with the normalis. It's going to be difficult to defend, especially against 42 incoming. Ugh. All right, uh, let's get rid of this and this, and then do apotheosis. And yeah, unfortunately, I can't kill and I can't fully defend, which is a shame. There's nothing a power potion would have given me that would have allowed me to defend against that much. So unfortunately, this is something I can't fully defend against. Uh, let's do another limit break. And now I think I should be fine. Um, yeah, I don't need to play these. Although I guess they would have dealt three damage each, each with Trans Ashes, but I think that's fine. Um... Do I want to, that's a lot of damage that I unfortunately can't deal. Uh, do I have something next hand to kill? There's a fiend fire. Yeah, I don't. This is annoying. I do have a lot of strength, so I'm probably overthinking it. Let's just defend, defend, and then master of strategy, shockwave, sword boomerang. It still does five damage, so that's good. Battle trance, and then fiend fire. Why not? Okay. Yeah, close enough. I just need to exhaust two more cards. Oh, actually, the thorns did it. Perfect. Got okay, Paper Frog. Enemies with Vulnerable deal 75% more damage rather than uh, rather than 50%. Sorry, they take more damage rather than deal. And then I got a Fear Potion to go along with it. Great. Uh, now I think, oh, is it too late for Reaper? Let's go with the Fiend Fire. I might get a Collector Bonus for that. Okay, next let's upgrade um, 
the corruption. It's always in my opening hand too. Okay. All right. So really against the timing, I have to rely on. Oh, I could get a curse out of this, right? Uh, let's try. Let me do um, corruption first. Then this arm. Armaments is unfortunately a little useless here. Um, do I want to play the mind blast? No, I think I'll just defend a little bit here. Okay. Because I'm afraid if I play the mind blast, he'll be easily killed. Um, I will do a shockwave though. Okay. So he's weakened too. 21. Yeah, I need small attacks here. Uh, this is a small attack. Okay. I'll take the 9 damage, sure. The extra uh, max HP is also going to give me extra current HP. Let's do limit break. Uh, when is the next uh, normality coming up? Uh, in a while. Uh, okay, let's just do flame barrier then. Okay. Alright. 12 incoming. Um, let's burn impact the regret. And then um, I'll just do defend. Uh, I feel like I'm losing a lot of damage here. Or HP. Which is fine, sure. I don't want to accidentally kill and not get a curse. Another 12. The disarm is helping the, out a lot. Quite a lot, though. That's good. Uh, let's again fully defend here. Or almost fully defend. Close to fully defend. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm getting the curse. Perfect. And uh, normality is coming up in two turns. Let's do apotheosis. Um, shrug it off, and then next turn I can play Battle Trance and get to normal. Yeah, I don't think I need Shrug it off this turn. Okay. Alright, there's another Curse as well as Healing, and then here I'll do Battle Trance, get rid of the normality. Mm -hmm. And then, um, let's see, this is enough to kill, right? Yeah, I was overthinking, I didn't even need to get rid of the normality. Alright, upgraded Ghastly, Ghostly Armor is not a bad idea. Let's take it. Okay, yeah, this had to be a shop. Now I'm gonna leave the game with 1500 gold. We got a third doubt as well as Eternal Feather. For every th uh, five cards in your deck, heal three HP whenever you enter a rest site. Very nice. So now I don't have to rest um, before the boss fight. Okay, so here, um, hang on, 61, corruption. Uh, yeah, defense is a problem here, right? Unless, unless this Sword Boomerang hits the right things. Uh, so I guess I have to try. Let's do corruption and then disarm. Sword Boomerang. Well, that actually hit the worst thing. <laughs> okay. Um, well, that's not good. I am very close to killing the minions, but I can't. Um, and unfortunately, even if I throw the Fear Potion, it's not going to be enough to kill this guy. Well, that was a shame. Yeah, I guess I just got lucky with the Sword Boomerang. If, even if it hit some, like, one dagger multiple times, I could have um, use the Mind Blast to kill the other dagger. So, yeah, that was that was unfortunate. Let me do Offering. I'll play the Immolate. Um, let me do... Ma hang on, is Master of Strategy going to give me Normality? No, let's do that. And then Battle Trant is also not going to give me Normality, although let me free up my hand a little bit. Let's do Immolate. Battle Trant. Okay. Should have done the uh, Burning Pact first, actually. But I can fully defend here. Actually, can I kill? Um, yes, I can. Okay. Alright, we got Unseizing Taw. Whenever you have no cards in hand during your turn, draw a card. That's actually really good. That's exactly what this deck needs. I'll also take a Swift Potion instead of the Strength Potion because I feel like I have enough Strength. And then, um, I mean, fine, I'll take a Feed. Doesn't matter too much, right? Okay, so I don't think we need to rest here. Let's upgrade. Um, what should I upgrade? Upgrade the Apotheosis. That way I can play it easier. Okay. All right, time eater. Let's see what you got. Not getting attacked on our first turn. That's really good. Um, looking out for the next normality. It's uh, oh, actually, I have close to the bottom of my deck. Okay, so let's do corruption. I don't even think I need to exhaust it. Uh, let me throw the fear potion and then do 126 damage with the mind blast. Okay, and then disarm. All right, so far so good. Alright, 18 incoming. I'm almost fully defended here. Uh, let's do Offering. Okay, I needed some defense. I guess I got it through Iron Wave. Uh, Fiendfire will deal a lot of damage. Um, let me see. Sword Boomerang will also deal a lot of damage. Let me do Iron Wave first for the block. Actually, why did I drink... Actually, I should keep the Power Potion for later. Do I want to drink a Swift Potion? Um, hang on. If he gets two extra strength, he would be attacking me for... Wait, why is he attacking me for... Because he has already negative... Oh, I'm vulnerable. How did I get vulnerable? 
He made me vulnerable, right? Uh, so if if he if I play twelve cards, he'll deal possibly more than I can defend against. So let's not actually make him do that. Let's just do Sword Boomerang and then Fiend Fire. But then I'll draw the Master of Strategy. I do have a power uh, power throw after that. Okay, fine. Let's do Fiend Fire here. Okay. All right. And then Master of Strategy, and then a power through. And uh, can I play three more cards? I cannot, right? So next turn, he won't be attacking me. I can only play three cards. Um, which I guess is fine. Alright, so that was that was somewhat wasted then. Okay, that's okay. Actually, I could have played three cards with the power potion. But then next turn still, I wouldn't have not been able to deal enough damage, right? Because I don't have any card draw here. So I should transform him here, though. Let's do Shockwave, Defend, Defend. Okay. All right, so now he's back to half HP, which is unfortunate for me. Um, all right, let's do... Defense is going to be a problem. Let's do Apotheosis first. Okay. And then Burning Pack the Doubt. All right. And then, um, let me see. Let me see what power potion I get after all. Juggernaut is probably fine. Metallicize is probably fine. Uh, let's do Metallicize. Okay. Then Shrug it off. I have the energy. I'm just lacking the defense. Uh, impervious. It's gonna take me a while, but I could get there. Yeah, let's get there. Because I'm not sure if I can kill in time. Uh, hang on. So this is... Yeah, I don't think I can kill in time. So let's do Fiend Fire. Okay. And then we're playing five cards. So feed. And I have... Luckily, I have enough energy. Get rid of the Regret. Brutality. Get rid of the Parasite. And then Impervious. Okay. Can I play two more cards? Or should I play two more cards? I probably should. Yeah, let's do Battle Trans. And then uh, might as well do a bash. Okay. Yeah, I should be able to kill next turn though. That was close. Got lucky with that Impervious showing up when it did. 27 incoming. Uh, Fiendfire does it, right? Perfect. Okay. So I think first act was okay. Third act was great. And then second act was kind of meh. But uh, 1471, unfortunately, I don't think I got a single collector bonus, did I? Yeah, no, I didn't. All right. I perfected six out of the possible 12 elites. Um, I think it was all on the... No. Well, it was mixed. Each floor had some. I got Beyond Perfect, Overkill, which I think was fairly easy with the Mind Blast. I had, in the end, 10 curses plus the one I got at the very end, which was an injury. Interesting. So I could have potentially gotten for a... That would have been my first injury. Could have gotten for a Highlander modifier, but I, I guess if I had transformed the Doubt, that would have been difficult. I actually think there are only 10, because all of these curses come from uh, regular fights. Yeah, I had I had three Doubts. It would have been difficult to get the Highlander. Um, but then I got Encyclopedian, and um, yeah, I'm pretty happy. Speedster, too. Uh, minute and 23 seconds faster. I've got another 25 points, which would put me at 1496. So let's see where we stand in the rankings. I definitely think people were able to perfect a few more elites. Oh, wow, look at that. Not even, not even top 20. I'm 28th. Okay, so if I played a little faster, 1496 would have still not put me in uh, the top 20. I would have been 21st. Okay, all right. Well, that's good to know. So I'm guessing people really were able to perfect way more elites than I did. Yeah, maybe I think I had basically four out of my five cards, uh, opening hand cards, were predetermined and none of them were strongly defensive. So maybe instead of taking the, um, the uh, what's the card I had? The one that decreases the strength. Maybe instead of that, I should have picked the strong defensive card in my opening hand or even just something with card draw. Um, but it's fine. I think it was a very fun run. Curse run. Um, Control Chaos basically didn't matter too much, especially on the first act, or is except for on the first act. But Curse Run and Big Game Hunter together was pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.